hello all beautiful viewers please do subscribe my channel design and creativity and don't forget to click the bell icon to keep updated with my upcoming videos okay so let's start making our wood effect wax candle for this you need uh, paraffin wax here I'm using one of my candle mold if you don't have like this you can use any uh, container then we need some wax colors here I'm using yellow and brown color and this is uh, a candle I have created for this video this is just a raw candle and make sure that the wick of the candle is long enough to hold it like this and uh, then we need again the same container to fill with water I'll tell you why we need water and guys these are our tools all right and this is what the wax color I have created the first layer and it is uh, somehow uh, what color is this it, this is lemon yellow color okay so now I'm uh, going I'm filling this wax color this is guys very very hot so be careful while handling it and uh, now I will use my candle hold it like this and then start dipping it into the color all right so this time be very careful hold the wick very tightly so that it will not get fell down into the hot wax all right so you need to dip it almost uh, 15 20 times to get the desired layer of the color whatever color you will choose to make your wood effect candle okay so now it is uh, slightly getting creamish color and i think with just a few more dips i'll get the desired lemon yellow color what which i want for my candle okay so now i'm just uh, cooling it because uh, i had enough of the layer of this yellow color so uh, cooling down your candle is uh, also equally important so now after dipping almost 20 times i got this desired result all right so now for the second result i am using here this is a slightly orangish brownish orange color type and repeat the same process what we what we have did earlier okay so keep dipping your candle into the hot wax and make sure guys the temperature of the dipping wax must not be too high or too low it uh, must be medium okay so now i'm just doing the same process again and again to get the color of my candle what i actually want so this time after uh, doing uh, again 20 to 25 dippings here into the wax color this is how i get the color which i want all right so this is what is the final dipping is and guys here i think this time will be the last dipping come on okay so now after completing the process put your candle on some sort of uh, stand like this all right so now after uh, uh, resting your candle for almost half an hour now you start creating the board effect on a candle using with these two intelligent tools okay so this is what i have in my hand is a fork and i'm using this fork to create the wood effect lines okay so guys here i am uh, just making straight lines now this is up to you what type of uh, grain you want to make on your candle but uh, this time i am showing you uh, in a very easy way we will make more candles of wood effects with more dramatic effect on that okay so now make lines like this first we'll make uh, uh, just we, uh, at the first step we have to just create lines and then we will uh, uh, make it more deeper and deeper all right now it's up to you that you want to see the white color of the candle also or uh, just happy with the yellow color coming out popping out from the orange 
yeah actually this is orange well i wanted to make it in a brown color but it's okay this color is also looking very pretty so i just uh, said to myself that okay dolly come on it is also quite satisfactory all right so keep doing like this guys so we have completed our first layer and now as we have the lines so now the second step is more easier than what the first step to create it like this all right so this is how your candle will look like after making so many lines like this and now i'm using my second tool okay so i'm using the second tool to make my lines more broader and deeper all right and this time i'm creating some shapes also so keep watching this how i'm doing it and you do have to do like this all right Don't forget to create the line at the edges also. So this is how your candle will look like after creating all these lines and I am here using a henna dye brush to make uh, it uh, clear. All right. And whatever brush you will use guys make sure that the bristles are enough strong to clean out the candle okay extra wax from the candle okay so this is how you have to do the cleaning process and so that you will see all lines very clearly the design whatever you have created very clearly so that you will understand what else you have to make so after doing this uh, if you find that uh, somewhere uh, you dig uh, more broadly or deeply then it's okay because uh, wood pattern never be, never be the same okay it is always different from one one line is always different from the another line all right now i'm using more pressure here on the wax to create more deeper and uh, dramatic lines okay so like this and uh, while doing this i was thinking to create something else also because it is quite looking 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 it is looking pretty but uh, not uh, what i actually want so here you see guys what i'm doing i'm just creating a shape here uh, what people use usually uh, create on trees okay so this is the this is the process of making heart shape on my wood candle all right and i thought it will look more dramatic also and more natural also because this is what we actually did all right so here i have created a heart shape on my on my wood i'll not say wood pattern on my wood candle buddy all right and now the process you know which we do to uh, make uh, our candle um, which we what i'm saying yeah okay so after um, making it clear onto the hot tray this is uh, somehow it will look like from the top and that was the base of the candle so this is what we have created now here i am showing you something else also to add um, to this candle so this is what i have in my hand guys is a candle dip and usually it is called as candle shiner dip it creates shine onto the candles it uh, and uh, other than this you need a container okay so make sure that uh, you will use the same container again and again and now i am pouring this transparent uh, shiny liquid dip for candle into the container and now i'm holding my candle from the wick and just a single dip is uh, okay for to create the shine and see how shiny your candles will look like 
okay so after this you have to uh, put it on to the rest for at least uh, an hour okay so all your beautiful viewers after doing all those process what we have in our hand is the final product i hope guys i have given you some innovative ideas and beautiful ideas to create to take your creativity to the next level okay so meet you in the next video till then take care bye bye